effects of different riding surfaces on the hoof and fetlock acceleration of horses. Injuries are devastating, both emotionally and financially, to the owner. The owner, more often than not, has a very close emotional bond with the horse, as well as a significant monetary investment. Injuries often lead to the horse being retired from competition, or even being euthanized. In 2006, Barbara won the Kentucky Derby. In his next race, the Preakness Stakes, the second leg of the Triple Crown, tragedy struck. He fractured his right leg during the course of the race. Despite the best veterinary care in the world, and multiple surgeries, Barbara eventually developed laminitis, and the owners were forced to euthanize him, as he was unable to walk. Studies have shown that there is a correlation between surface type and the risk of injury in horses. In particular, a correlation between harder surfaces and increased risk of injury. Dirt surfaces are generally harder than synthetic surfaces. And a good way to measure the hardness of a surface in relation to the horse is to measure hoof acceleration. However, most of these studies are on either thoroughbreds or on standard bred trotters. Nearly all of these studies are on racing surfaces. These studies all involve a small number of horses and relatively few repetitions. Little has been done in the way of studying the interaction between surfaces and dressage horses or jumping horses. Dressage and jumping horses encounter a much wider array of surfaces during the course of competition in their lifetime than, say, a thoroughbred or standard bred trotter. The study aims to fill in some of these deficiencies. In this study, as the title states, hoof and fetlock acceleration were measured. This was done via accelerometers. Five different surfaces were tested on six different horses. Of the surfaces tested, three were indoor surfaces and two were outdoor surfaces. The indoor surfaces were as follows. A sand synthetic surface used by lunging horses labeled Sand synthetic indoor one, sand synthetic surface used by jumping horses, labeled sand synthetic indoor two, a sand sawdust fiber surface used for dressage, labeled sand sawdust indoor, and then two outdoor surfaces were used, a grass surface and a sand surface. They were labeled grass outdoor, sand outdoor. motion analysis system developed by Direxon of Scottsdale, Arizona was used to measure acceleration. Two accelerometers were attached to each horse on the hoof wall and fetlock of the left forelimb with double-sided tape. Each accelerometer weighed 2.8 grams and had a range of plus or minus 98.1 meters per second squared. Data was transferred from the accelerometer to a measurement station. This was done via Bluetooth. The measurement station used was the Myotrace 400. Horses used in the course of the study were six Holsteiner warm blood geldings. All were between five and six years old. All weighed between 542 and 603 kilograms. All were between 165 and 177 meters tall. All the horses were shod with standard steel shoes.
each course was trotted by hand in a 16 meter circle for 65 seconds. This was done for each horse on each surface. Mean speed was recorded. An algorithm created using MATLAB version R2010A was used to break down the data in individual hoof strikes for analysis. The following were measured during the course of the study. Y axis of acceleration, X axis of acceleration, the resultant vector of the hoof acceleration, Y axis fatlock acceleration, X axis fatlock acceleration, and the resultant vector of the fatlock acceleration. The results were analyzed using the mixed model SAS version 9.1. As you can see in Table 1, acceleration was greater on the outdoor surfaces than the indoor surfaces. There is a greater variation in x-axis acceleration and then y-axis acceleration. The outdoor grass surface had the highest y-max and RMS value for both hoof and fatlock acceleration. The indoor sand sawdust surface used for dressage proved to be the lowest in all six data sets. was found between hoof and fetlock acceleration and surfaces. However, this study did not establish a specific correlation between specific surfaces and higher risk of injury. Further studies are needed to determine if specific surfaces used in these competitions lead to increased injuries. Hopefully this study, along with others, to the reduction of injuries in competition for horses.